I'm sorry to break it to you, but yes, you suck at art. <laughs> but don't worry, by the end of this video, I'm gonna have you feeling good, even encouraged about the fact that you suck. That's coming up. Hi everybody and welcome to Your Creative Push, the podcast and the YouTube channel that pushes you to pursue your creative passions. And today we're talking about being bad, <laughs> about comparing yourself to great artists or great creative people that you admire and that feeling that you get that your skills are not up to snuff. And as you try to get better and better and it's taking forever and perhaps you're not seeing any sort of progress, that feeling of impatience that you'll never be good enough and, that it, and then that impatience leading you to feel like you should just quit and perhaps you have quit in the past. And while this might seem like it's gonna be the saddest video ever, I promise you that by the end we'll have you feeling much better about the fact that you're bad and that you're not quite where you wanna be. You see, when you were a kid, it was easy to suck because you didn't have anything to compare your work to. It was just you and your imagination and you and your creations and hopefully mom or dad liked them, but other than that, you didn't care what other people thought. But when you're an adult, you have everything to compare your work to. And especially with the internet, it's so easy to find other artists who are posting all of their work and, mind you, posting their best work, their finished work, not the creation process of it and not all the, the bad versions and all the trash versions. You're just seeing the very best. Um, and especially if you're in the middle of a break, it's easy to go down that rabbit hole and keep finding other artists that are doing great stuff that you can't do, that your skills aren't up to, or perhaps you're not even trying to develop skills in that fashion, but here they are. There's all these great artists doing all these different things, and the longer this goes on, the more artists you can find, the more creative people that are doing amazing things that have great skills, the harder it is to actually get that gap closed, to just sit down and get to your work. And I also realize that you don't even need anybody else to compare your work to to get that feeling that you suck. It's this inherent feeling, this embedded feeling that we all have in us when we're not able to get what's in our head uh, down on paper or out on the computer screen or out in our musical instrument, whatever our creative thing is. We don't even need to compare ourselves to anybody else because we have that feeling deep within ourselves that we're not worthy, that we're not able to do this thing and we never will be able to. I have had this feeling for a long time. I continue to have this feeling. The whole reason this podcast started in the first place was because I wanted to try something completely new that I didn't see anywhere else on the internet. I wanted to make music videos using uh, only writing to, to go along with the songs. And I spent literally years looking online to see if anybody else had done it so that I could either compare myself to it or give myself that excuse to not even do it. So I definitely know what it feels like to uh, suck at something, especially when I finally built up the courage to start doing that thing and had to figure it out from scratch. But here's the thing, whether you have nothing to compare your current work and your current skills to, or you have all of the current masters and all of the masters of history to compare yourself to, we have all felt like we have sucked. All artists, all creative people are all along a path. And when you compare yourself to the masters of history, you're comparing yourself to the end of their journey, to their excellence, not the beginning of their journey. And when you compare yourself to a future you, a better you, you're comparing yourself to the end of your path, or at least the, the furthest along your path that you can see. And the only way to get to that point is to actually walk the path. Your Creative Push alumni Bobby Chu had this wonderful gem of a video, which we'll link below, uh, called Bad Drawings Can Make Us Good. And in that video, he talks about what we're talking about today, bad drawings or bad anything really. And he likens it to uh, that mucky water, that brown water that comes out of your faucet sometimes when you haven't used it for a while. And you have to let that mucky water, that brown water, uh, go through for a few minutes before the clear water comes out. And the same applies to any type of creative work. You have to get those bad drawings or bad whatever out of you before the good drawings come. Even professional, prolific artists 
have this on a daily basis. They know that they have to get through the bad stuff in order to get to that good stuff. And you are no different. And not just on a daily basis like professionals, but as a career, as a life. When you sit down to get to whatever it is that you create, don't sit down and try to create a masterpiece. Don't. Instead, try to get more proficient at whatever it is that you do so that in the future, it's easier for you to get through those crappy drafts. It's faster for you to sift through the muck in order to get those gems, to get those diamonds. When you can see things as more long-term and when you can stretch out the timeline of your artistic career, your artistic life, it takes the pressure off of you. Instead of sitting down and having to uh, make an absolute ultimate masterpiece when you get to your art, maybe instead you can wait for it, enjoy sucking, (laughs) being fully present with your art, with whatever it is that the universe has compelled you to try to do, to try to get those thoughts and those feelings out of yourself and onto paper or into a computer or through a camera or a microphone or whatever it is that you do. That's magic. That is absolute magic from the cosmos. And anybody that has ever attempted to do that to walk that path that you're trying to walk has stumbled. They have all faltered and made mistakes on their way to success. But here's another thing to consider. Even that success that I just described in other people is just a success in your mind. I promise you that for all of those creative people that have reached that point of success, there's still some level of dissatisfaction They still have felt like the goalpost has moved and they have more room to improve and to continue to grow. They still feel like they suck on some levels. And in in fact, it's that dissatisfaction that shows that you're on the right path. Because the second you feel completely satisfied with your skills, you feel like you do not suck anymore, that is a moment that you stop being an artist. Because there is either something wrong with your ego or you've just stopped growing as an artist. So take comfort in that dissatisfaction. Take comfort in the fact that you suck and that there's still room to grow because you still have a path. You still have a journey to go down. In the modern world of immediate gratification, being an artist of any kind is one of the few things that you can do that requires a great amount of time and effort and discipline to be able to convey the things, the thoughts, the feelings that are inside of you out into the world in an effective way and hopefully an aesthetically pleasing way as well. So take comfort in the fact that not sucking at art is something that you earn. There's no magic pill that anybody can take in order to be good at art. And there's courses that you can buy. There's schools that you can go to and there you could hire a mentor. But you still have to put in the hours and the effort yourself. In short, the only way to stop sucking is to suck a lot for a while. The journey never ends and the goalposts keep moving. So stop worrying about how long it's going to take because it's going to take forever. Just put your head down and create and try to get in that mindset of the kid in the sandbox and try to enjoy the process of getting to your art and slowly getting better over time. And I promise you, you're going to find some gems along the way. If you're still struggling with this topic, I have handpicked three episodes and listed them in the description below that I think will definitely help you out, as well as my interview with Bobby Chu. Highly recommend that one as well. Thank you so much for turning that thumbs up below. Blue, I appreciate that. Thank you for also subscribing to the podcast, for listening, and of course, for creating. We'll see you next time.